One feature in make.com that is crucial for me and my team when building out custom automated workflows for clients is the scenario history feature. And today I want to give you a quick rundown of what it is, what it looks like and how I use it. So when you're in a scenario in make.com on the right hand side, you're going to see a history log and it's going to show you the successful executions and the failed executions of that scenario. You can come up here to the history tab and access the same information and it'll bring you to a window that looks like this. If you wanna see the details, you can go over here to the right hand side and click details. It'll take you to the specific execution with all the details with the simple and advanced log in the right hand side. But honestly, underneath the diagram tab on the right hand side, since it's already there, I just use that. And I can do the same thing. If I wanna go back into the scenario and see a failed execution and see where my automation is breaking and where I'm having problems, I can go over here and click into it and it's gonna bring up the diagram. It's gonna bring up all these successful runs. You can see in this execution of this scenario that it broke with the Google Docs module. All four of these modules successfully ran up until this point where it broke. If I want to find out what is breaking, what is going wrong, then I can find out two ways. I can just click on the bubble right here and it'll bring up the runtime error. Or on the right hand side, you can see all of the same information just in a linear format in a list. And if I hover over this right here, then you'll see in the diagram that the Google Docs module is pulsating. It has the error message right below it showing you what went wrong, or you can even click into it if you want to get even more details read the runtime error and see what the input was. So you can dive into all the information of what was input into the module and go from there and kind of do some detective work. Sometimes what I like to do, I don't understand some of the runtime errors and what it's saying. So what I'll do is I'll just highlight all the text and throw it into chat GPT and ask questions. Or if I wanna grab all of the information right here, I just take a screenshot of this window and then throw that into chat GPT and then prompt it something like, hey, my name is Mason, I'm using make.com to build out this workflow. The end goal, end result is this. I'm running into this error with this module. This is the runtime error. This is what I'm inputting. And then just go from there and just ask questions. More often than not, with the help of chat GPT, I can get the answers that I'm looking for. And then I just go back to make.com, tweak a few things, fire away. It's just trial and error, trial and error until I get it working. This runtime error suggests to me invalid JSON payload received. So what that's telling me is that something's probably wrong with the JSON being parsed or with the JSON being created with the OpenAI message and assistant module. Maybe it was just a one-off error with my assistant in OpenAI, or maybe there's something wrong with my prompt. This stuff comes in handy, not only when you're in the middle of building out the workflows, but down the road when your workflow just breaks all of a sudden, you can go back and see what's going wrong. If, it's, if it just keeps breaking down the road, maybe you can pick up on patterns and see where it's breaking the most. And then you can go back into the scenario and implement proper error handlers, or maybe you might just have to build it out a different way. You know, move some things around, tweak a few things. Maybe if stuff keeps breaking in a particular spot, it just means that it needs to be built out in a more efficient manner. So for any of you guys out there who are using make.com like me, to build out workflows for businesses or maybe just yourself and your business. I hope this helps. 